Okay, welcome to this teardown of the Bauer brushless. Renew. Okay, so I don't have the battery, I just have the naked tool. The usual useless carbon freight manual. This is the clip. And this is the tool. Pretty compact in size. Okay, let's have a look. They all appear to be, what is this, a T10? I'll try. Okay, so it's a total of uh, nine screws, T10, all of the same length. Let's see if we forgot any. Okay, and now there's the front. Okay, it's actually a T15. Okay, let's open it. And it's split. So now a very good YouTuber would uh, decode the type of plastics that has been used here. I'll look it up later. And uh, this is the whole thing. So, brushless motor. So the motor is about 55 millimeters. One quarter more or less, and then we have the gearbox and the check uh, and clutch assembly. It appears that the controller is completely integrated in the motor. Actually, no, the controller is here, close to the battery, completely covered. The three main phases. There's five wires going to the trigger assembly.
and there's an additional five I believe or six uh, wires going to the motor assembly okay battery connectors one is fake main controller on a kind of a nice aluminum heatsink LED Selector and I probably made the usual mistake that YouTubers do by not removing the chuck before removing it from the from the casing. We'll see how that goes. Oh, wait. So, three planet at this stage. Try to split uh, the rest of the gearbox. Okay, so it's a T10. So these appear to be smaller than the other T10s we removed earlier. Okay. This is the rest of the gearbox with the clutch mechanism. You can see there's a couple of uh, bearings and this is the rest of the bearings and uh, this will drive to the to the chuck let me put these bearings back inside here And uh, I'll try to reconnect. Oh, this is a five planets for what appears to be the second stage.
Okay, back in. And uh, Okay, so I put this back in. So obviously in order to use this, the whole assembly needs to keep to be kept uh, solid. And all in all, it's uh, it looks like a pretty simple construction, pretty compact. Okay. So overall length of around a hundred millimeters, four inches. The diameter is around 50, two inches. And uh, it doesn't look too complicated to be somewhat customized. Relatively long wiring those uh, five extra signals and uh, the challenge to reuse uh, this motor i guess is to design a appropriate casing that uh, that will hold it correctly oh this is the gear selector to the clutch okay okay so this is the motor I connected it to the veg power supply I set it to 19 volts and uh, I also had to modify and to add a uh, 10k resistor between uh, the ground and uh, the the third pin that is uh, used for some so, sort of uh, thermal in the battery we are we don't have a battery so i have to fake it let's do a demonstration okay so let's give it the 19 volts I'm li limiting to one amp, so let's increase the limit. So even at no load, two amps are not enough at 19 volt. Let's go up to four. Not even four, okay. Um, it has uh, a brake function because I really have to hold it tight when I release the trigger. Okay, this is the planetary gear 
disassembled. Um, I, I had to disassemble it, degrease it, remove all the all the grease. Otherwise, it was very complicated. Um, let's start from this side. This is the output. Um, this interfaces with the with the with what goes into the chuck. Uh, by the way, I also removed all the components that make the clutch. It was uh, way too complicated to deal with that. I, um, uh, at this point, I considered the, the the clutch mechanism too complicated to present in this video. Um, so it's a three-stage planetary gear. So this is a third stage because the output third stage five uh, planets, um, five gears. So it distributes the, the torque. Uh, then there's uh, this kind of washer separator, uh, which I believe uh, has to do with a little bit of the clutch mechanism slash it keeps the, the grease uh, in, uh, in each uh, section. This plastic part uh, um, and uh, the corresponding uh, metal ring that also has to do with this ring uh, slide into each other to engage uh, uh, the second uh, or the third, uh, you know, one gets skipped uh, when you change uh, when you change speed. So this is the, the the speed selection, which happens by bypassing one of the stages. This is the second stage uh, um, with the, with the five gears, and this is the first stage that is only three gears. There's less torque at that point. And this is where it mates with the with the motor again. This washer to keep the grease, uh, the grease inside. So I created a, a 3D printed uh, enclosure to show the the planetary gear action. Okay, so I assemble this and uh, don't mind this external case, which technically is the case for the uh, first stage of the, of the planetary gear. Um, as you might have guessed, this will be used as a peristaltic pump. So yeah, the idea is to uh, recycle this, uh, this drill and uh, the motor and the uh, the planetary gear for, for a peristaltic power. Anyway, so I, um, for this video, I just want to show that uh, uh, I'm driving the planetary gear from the output because it's easier. So we can just turn this uh, and we can see the input uh, spinning very fast. And uh, I believe this concludes for now the review of this uh, Bauer brushless drain.